Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to check in on the Whitey Bulger homicide case. Some breaking news here. Um, part of the narrative that's been out there for the six years since Bulger was killed uh, in prison, in a federal prison in West Virginia, we didn't really know the whole story until these last couple of days. Uh, it was believed that he was killed by Freddie G's and little Polly D. Colagero, and they were both involved in the conspiracy. But now, I'm based on the official record, Freddie G's killed Whitey Bulger by himself. Uh, little Polly, uh, both little Polly and Freddie are, are Massachusetts gangsters. Um, little Polly was a lookout. We had always thought he was one of the doers, but according to his sentencing memo that came out last month, and then he, he took a four-year sentence this week uh, in front of a federal judge, I think his, his name was uh, Thomas Klee, uh, out of West uh, out of West Virginia. Um, four years, the other lookout, Sean McKinnon, uh, who was a, a petty thief from, from Vermont, uh, he got time served. He's out. Freddie G's, on the other hand, is most likely going to be sentenced to life in prison. Later this month, uh, he copped his plea. They all copped the plea uh, earlier this year, but Freddie's plea was to prevent the government from going after him with the death penalty. But uh, despite the fact that he wasn't a killer in this instance, uh, D. Colagero is a convicted murderer and uh, a guy that was running with a North Shore mob crew that belonged to the East Boston. Uh, it was like a, like a subunit of the East Boston crew of the Patriarch of Crime family. He ran, uh, you know, was a protege of his uncle, Big Polly. They all ran out of, uh, ran their rackets out of a, uh, a gym in, uh, I think, Woburn, uh, Ma uh, Massachusetts. And it, it looks like this was a solo, it doesn't look like it was, a, a solo job by Freddie Gias. And, you know, Freddie is a guy that we've talked about on here, uh, Springfield, Massachusetts, a, a, a wing of the Genovese crime family back in the late 90s and early 2000s through most of the 2000s until he was picked up. Uh, Freddie Gias was a very, very feared enforcer. Uh, couldn't be made because he was Greek, but he worked for Big Al Bruno, Bingy Aralada, uh, and and those regimes, and was very, very trusted. Uh, in fact, he was you know the, the person that facilitated the the Bruno assassination in 2003. He's serving time before the Bulger murder. He's already serving time. Uh, for the Bruno hit and another murder uh, at that same time uh, uh, back in 2003, uh, a guy named Gary Westerman, who was a informant and, and mob associate. But just to give a little bit of background on why Freddie G has had such a thirst for vengeance against Bulger was that Bulger, in addition to what we know about him being this, you know, uh, Irish crime boss, uh, master overlord, master puppeteer, playing the FBI, playing the Italian mafia, uh, but also just this depraved child predator, rapist, woman killer. Um, and he was giving up his own guys. And one of Freddie Gia's mentors uh, in terms of the underworld as well as in prison was Freddie Weichel, who was a member of Whitey Bulger's Winter Hill Gang, and Whitey pinned a murder on him that he had nothing to do with back in the early 1980s. Freddie Weichel served 30 plus years in prison uh, until Bulger's, you know, his scam was kind of up when when he got when he got uh, uh, exposed, and Weichel got out of prison, got a 30 million dollar. 30, 30 million dollar plus uh, reward for wrongful imprisonment, and Freddie G has already had an issue with with rats, and you know he gave him the opportunity to get at Bulger because of what he did to Freddie Weichel. Um, it, it was a wrap, and and G has killed him brutally. Uh, Whitey Bulger was beaten to death with a, a, a metal lock attached to a, a belt, and then his eyes were gouged out, and his tongue was cut off. Um, Gius will be kind of a prison icon, even though he'll never taste freedom again. Um, but, you know, we'll, he'll be sentenced later on. But I just wanted to update everybody on the Whitey Bulger murder. Uh, little Paulie D. 
D. Colaguero looks like he'll be probably getting out pretty soon. Um, you know, probably by the end of the decade. Uh, OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, I'm out. Please like, share, and subscribe. We got the Patreon rolling out uh, this month, so check for that. I'm out.